In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to create an elevation inside Lumion Pro 12. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer, and I'll see you next. So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools and today we're going to talk about how to do an elevation inside Lumion Pro 12. So this is the way I do it. I don't know if there is any other ways uh, to do it. Actually, you can, you know, using now the orthographic view, you can, uh, you can uh, do this as well. So right now the model you're looking at, I don't have any vegetation on because this is a really heavy model. So I'll, I'll let the vegetation just before we actually do the rendering of the elevations. Uh, but what I use is I use uh, clip planes, okay? Let me just check this out. So what I do is I go here, I add a clip plane. As you can see here, it start cutting through the architecture, okay? So I'm just going to add here uh, where I want it, okay? It doesn't matter right now just like this and now it's selected and what I'm going to do I'm going to rotate it so you can rotate using here the mouse but the more precise right now okay so if you go want to go more slowly don't forget that in Lumion you can press shift in your keyboard okay so what I'm going to do here is I actually going to use the slider here the orientation okay so as you can see it's on this side now and let's go to the other side. So this is what I want, okay? This is the orientation I want. You can type as well the angles if you want. So if you want a little bit further out, so maybe I want to see the building closed off, okay? You can start moving, okay? You can start moving like this, for example. So you can see this is the elevation I'm going to want to render. This is the side view I want to render. And you can do this for all the sides, okay? Um, I would like to, this to be a bit closed off, but I can cover that with the vegetation after if needed be. So, you know, you can just move around uh, f uh, further down the line if you want, okay? As you can see here, you just start sliding with the mover. Or you can, you know, move closer to the pool if you want. Let me go just here for a, a different view to be easier to do this. Okay, let's check this out. Because I don't have any of the of the modeling inside the house um, done. I don't really want to show a lot in my sec in my um, elevation of the inside of the house. But if you had, the, for example, the inside of the divisions inside the house done, this would be a really cool way to do it as well. Okay, so as you can see, you have different ways to do it. Okay, and you can play around, of course, you can do from other sides of the, of the project. Let me just move a little bit further out. Okay, so this is what I want from here. Okay. Okay, so this is the view I want. I'm happy with it. So let's go now to the actual uh, photo uh, editor. So I'm going to store that view. I'm just going to quickly add a realistic style. Okay, I'm just going to really change the sky. I want something sunnier. And I want to make sure that my sun is... That I'm... Fa yeah, that's it. That I have the sun facing the, here, the house. So right now, as you can see, this is not what you're hoping for. So what you need to do now is actually go to the orthographic view effect. And this is we, what we're going to add in here. Okay, we're going to enable it. So I'm going to put the pitch to zero here, okay? And I'm going to zoom in. Okay, in here it's much easier if you play around with the mouse, okay? Don't forget, if you want to play around with the mouse, you have Q to go up, okay? So you make sure, because the, 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 the keyboard, it's, it's, it's nicer to move, it's more, more smooth and you don't have the, you know, the mouse, you're not going to do it straight. 
uh, often okay so you play around with the mouse uh, with the keyboard sorry using Q to go up as you can see here you have A to go left D to go right okay I'm just gonna go a little bit more left and you have S as well if you want to go further out and W to go further in okay so this is starting to get to the elevation I'm actually looking for okay once you're pretty happy with the result okay let me just go a bit further in don't forget we're gonna have background vegetation and a whole vegetation inside the garden yet to add on okay make sure you store the camera view again in in here if you want you can fill the color in okay so you know um, do that you can choose the color if that you um, imagine that you really want black black can really play really cool with against the green if you have a lot of vegetation but you know you do whatever needed uh, whatever it's better for the presentation of your project um, so I'm happy with it now I'm gonna add the layers okay so I'm gonna add the layers and come back to this uh, photo editor So I've added my vegetation. Um, you're seeing here some problems, okay? So that's why this really need you need to be careful. My big palm tree, it's like halfway in between the, that clip plane that we've added. So I'm gonna go and move a little bit so I'm sh I, I make sure that the palm tree is uh, is there, okay? Inside of the of the elevation that we want, and not like this. So as you can see here, um, the the actual trunk of the palm tree is missing, okay? So you need to go back move the clip plane a little bit further out and then you have your palm tree in so you need to be careful with these details because you don't want to show uh, half vegetation or uh, trees without uh, trunks without barks etc okay as you can see here i was cutting in half as well some furniture okay you might even want to be honest sometimes you might you might even want to take some furniture in a layer and hide it while you're doing the section just to don't if you have a lot of things going on just to don't cut it out okay um but as you can see this is better now and we're going to go back to our photo editor mode Another thing you need to consider is if you if you want to add your background image uh, trees or not. OK, so what I'm going to do, um, it really depends on the information because the background is amazing. I love the background vegetation, but it can be really, really busy. OK, so I'm going to do um, an elevation without the background and with and you tell me after if what what's the one you like the best okay right now i'm going to take it out and i'm going to do the rendering of the elevator so which one do you like best okay so i love the background okay and of course this one has a little bit more lighting that i need to improve on the right one but i think the white background is really good in presentation of the projects in terms of portfolio layout okay this one is in the is you know to share in your website to share in the social networks the background it looks you know it really gives that ambience of the whole place the whole garden so definitely for me uh, if you're just sharing in, on your site or social networks, do with the background. You know, if you really want to show the elevation of your actual design ideas, you need to go with the white background, okay? I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye, guys.